Greetings and kingdom blessings to you all tonight. Thank you for joining me on tonight. This is uh, Kevin Bailey in the great city of Indianapolis, Indiana. Please, as you're coming on, share this. And please let me know if the music is too loud. Thank you for joining me on tonight. Amen. Uh, I want to talk about the spirit of jealousy. I know some of you may have not faced that uh, in many cases, but I want to talk about this. The devil is a liar. It's what I'll say to you on tonight. And some of you need to be loose from the grips and bondage of jealousy. Many of those that hang around you are jealous of you. I'm going to let this play for just a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me on tonight. Amen. Good evening to all of you. And again, this is Kevin Bailey from the great city of Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm with Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International. All right. Please go and subscribe to our YouTube page at Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International. This video and there's a plethora of videos that are online that will be a blessing to you. God bless you, Sister Valida. God bless you, T. God bless you, woman of God. T. Meek. I don't know who that is. But God bless you. <laughs> Amen. And thank you for tuning in to the broadcast tonight. Please uh, pump those hearts on tonight. Uh-oh, my music is messing up. I don't know. The enemy was trying to knock me off, too. Amen. Uh, tonight, too. But I just bind the enemy and all of his works. And I decree that you are loose from every altar and spirit of jealousy. And even if this is you, if it's you, I command that spirit to leave you now. In Jesus' name. Father, anoint your word. In Jesus' name, and release truth unto these, your precious people. In Jesus' name, and bring deliverance and breakthrough from the spirits of jealousy. In Jesus' name. The Bible says that jealousy, in Jesus' name, is as cruel as the grave. In Jesus' name. And its flames are flames of fire, and they're vehement or violent. In Jesus' name. And it rottens the bones. So I pray, in Jesus' name, that you will deliver them. From all covetousness, bitterness, and resentment, and anger in Jesus' name. And even malice in Jesus' name. And we thank you and bless you and praise you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let me know. Let me know if the music is too loud or not. We're going to go right into this if it's too loud. Go ahead and pump those hearts. Okay, I need 5,000 hearts on tonight. Give me, show me some love. I know I probably won't get too love, much love tonight because I'm talking about this spirit. You know, also, uh, the spirit of jealousy is so much that comes along with this spirit. So I want to expose it. Amen. Let me know if the music is up too loud. Amen. Praise God. Uh, because some... Uh, people hang around us, but they jealous of us. They jealous of the ministry. They jealous of the call. They jealous of the anointing. They're saying your ministry is fake. They're saying you're fake. I mean, enough's enough of this foolishness. Listen, nobody has to be in competition for nobody. With nobody. Amen. I mean, this foolishness needs to stop within the body of Christ. Uh oh, the hearts are stopping. Are you pumped? I'm sorry, I, I should get a super heart tonight for this. Amen. Amen. I'm going to go to some scriptures in a minute, uh, but listen to me closely. And I've got several scriptures tonight. I'm going to give them all to you, and I'm going to try to get to them tonight. But I want to deal with this spirit of jealousy. Amen. Enough's enough in the body of Christ. It's no room for it within the body of Christ. Amen. And I'm going to share, give you some biblical examples of jealousy and uh, warn you of the, the dangers of the spirit of jealousy. Amen. It's cruel. And jealousy always brings a suspicion. Amen. And let me give you all some other words. Let me give you some other words for jealousy. Amen. Listen, one of the things it causes is distrust mistrust, possessiveness, doubt, resentment, and uh, a weariness or being leery of someone. Amen. Also, another word is envious. This is someone that holds grudges against you. Are y'all with me on tonight? 
Um, they, they suspect you. They seem guarded. They're skeptical, apprehensive. Y'all, y'all listening to me? Resentful, covetous, envy, and desirous of what you have. Amen. Oh, I know I'm not going to get a lot of amens tonight. Y'all stay with me. Share it and pump those hearts. Amen. All right. So when people are jealous uh, of you, listen, they secretly admire you. If you're jealous, you need deliverance from it tonight. Give it up tonight. Listen, it's blocking blessings. It's hindering your breakthrough. It's, it's hindering where you need to be. And listen, a person that has jealousy also is an opportunist. They're looking for platforms. Uh, they pretend to support you. I'm going to expose this devil on tonight. Amen. I'm going to expose this devil on tonight. Amen. Because enough's enough. Amen. They are jealous of your ministry. Listen, they weren't there when you cried. They weren't there when you suffered, when you fasted, when you was hungry. Are y'all listening to me? Uh, when you went through the trials and tribulations that you went through. And listen, they want the anointing. But listen, many of you even that are jealous on tonight. Listen, you want the anointing, but you don't want the suffering. You don't want the process. Amen. We need to expose this devil. This is a devil. Amen. And so the jealous spirit always damages everybody around you. And it's a, a coveting spirit. It covets what you got. It covets the spiritual gifts you got. Covets the anointing. Covets your blessings. Amen. And some of them will celebrate you in your blessing, but like curse you in your heart. I'm going to go to that in a minute, in their hearts. I'm going I'm to go, I'm go to that in a minute. Uh, but they want your position, your authority, uh, the anointing that you carry. They're jealous of spiritual gifts. God does not respect any other person over another. Why can't we just work together? Why can't you pray? Why can't you fast? Why can't you worship? Practice just basic Christian, Christian disciplines if you are a believer. That's where the fire comes from. That's where the anointing comes from. And people experience it and it's evident in your life what you do in private. So why can't we just accept what God is doing in another person's life? Amen. He's no respecter of a person. If you need healing, God will heal you. All right. If, if, if you need deliverance, God has capacity to raise somebody up. Don't be jealous of them because they do deliverance or they do healing ministry and, and, and things of that nature. And the Bible uh, talks about uh, also uh, how jealousy rots the bones. It means that the bones decay, they shrivel up. Many a times jealousy uh, creates uh, poison in the body. Uh, it softens the bones. This is physically, when I looked at this, are y'all listening to me? Just jealousy, the envy, uh, rage, malice. So why can't we just celebrate one another? Some of us, we pretend like we celebrate a person, but we don't. Psalm 62 and 4 says this. They only consult to cast them down from his high position. They delight in lies. That jealousy spirit always seek you out to, to bring you down from your position in Christ. Are oh, y'all listening to me? Your position in him. Amen. They delight in lies. They slander. They tell lies on you. Amen. That's right. It's more cruel than the grave. I'm going to read that scripture in a minute. But listen, it says they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Psalm 62 and 4. They bless you with their mouth, but they curse you inwardly because they despise you. They're jealous of you. Songs of Solomon says this. Songs of Solomon in chapter 8 and verse 6 says this. Let me read it to you. It says, set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is as strong as death. Y'all see this? Jealousy is as cruel as the grave. Okay, y'all don't stop pumping those hearts. <laughs> I know I ain't going to get no love tonight. Pump those hearts tonight. Pump those hearts. Amen. But it says, jealousy is as cruel as the grave. Its flames 
are flames of fire are most vehement. This is a violent fire, an out of control fire. That's how jealousy is. That's how anger can be. That's how malice and enviousness can be. It's an out of control fire. It's a violent fire. It's violent. It's raging. It's uncontrollable. Are y'all with me on tonight? Let's go to the uh, Proverbs 14 and 30. I just shared that uh, for Proverbs. Let's look at Proverbs. Proverbs 14 and 30. Y'all watch this. Watch this. Proverbs 14 and 30. Watch it. Watch this. Verse 30. It says here, and I'm going to go to these other scriptures. I'm going to try to get to them tonight. It says, a sound heart is life to the body, but envy is rottenness to the bones. Y'all see that? It's rottenness. It brings decay. It brings defilement. Some may say, well, apostle, what's the answer to this? Philippians 2 and verse 3. Because jealousy many a times is connected with a selfish ambitious, an opportunist, someone looking for a platform. And listen, they'll hang with you for prominence. Uh, are y'all listening to me? Uh, for a platform, for a position. Oh, yeah, I need to expose this devil on tonight. One key to this is this. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind. Let each other esteem others better than himself. So if you esteem another better than yourself, then how can, what room do you have to be jealous? Esteeming others. Uh, this is a place of humility. Amen. We've got to stop this within the body of Christ. We need to unite, receive from every gift that is within the body. Amen. We, 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 we need to come together as a body. And some of you, you're hanging out in places of leaders that you are even jealous of them. Why? Why do you stay there? Why? Let me give you some other examples uh, in scriptures. I'm going to go to, to uh, Genesis in a minute. Let me go to the book of, uh, let me go to the book of uh, Titus, book of Titus chapter three, book of Titus chapter three. Let me go over here to this and look at this. Somebody say, stop it. Somebody just say, stop it now. Stop it. The Bible says this, for we ourselves were also once foolish, disobedient, deceiving, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice and in envy, hateful and hating one another. You in Christ now, that's got to go. That's in Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. First Peter chapter 2 and 1. This is First Peter chapter 2. Let, let me get over here to these scriptures, then I'm going to give you some examples. Enough's enough in the body of Christ. Say stop it. <laughs> Amen. Look what it says. In, in, in First Peter chapter 2 and verse 1 and, and, and uh, 3. Look what it says. It says, therefore, lay aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy. Guess what? Envy and all evil speaking. This is what it says. Lay it aside. So one that is jealous, they listen. One that is jealous, they, they, they operate in hypocrisy. They operate in envy and evil speaking or slander. Oh, I know. Y'all don't want to hear that. Let's go to Timothy. First Timothy 6 and 4. Let's look at First Timothy 6 and 4. And then we're going to give some examples. Enough's enough. Uh, I prayed earlier, but we're going to pray. Amen in a minute. I'm just going to pray for you, but get the freedom from this jealousy. You have no reason. Listen, the same blood that forgave you and delivered you is the same blood of your brother or sister. Why can't we just be brothers and sisters? And receive and embrace what God has given to each uh, person. Why? Look what it says in, in verse four. It says he is proud, knowing nothing but a success with disputes and arguments over words from which come envy, strife, reviling, 
and evil suspicious. One of the things I shared about jealousy, it is suspicious all the time. It is. It has distrust connected with it. Some need deliverance from it. Are y'all listening to me? Get the deliverance. And the real question is why? Why? Some argue over words. We argue over doctrine. We argue, argue over theology. We argue over beliefs. Are y'all listening to me? And we're jealous of one another. And also, uh, jealousy brings, uh, uh, it's a warring spirit. It brings competition. And I'm going to hit these uh, devils tonight. I'm going to hit them tonight. Amen. Let me give you these other scriptures. In Acts chapter 13 and 45, and Galatians 5 and 26, look at them closely. But let me go to Proverbs real quick. Proverbs 27 and 4. Remember Acts 13 and 45. Acts 13 and 45. Okay. Acts 13 and 45. And Proverbs 27 and 4. But I'm going to go to Proverbs 27 and 4. All right. I know I, I don't get no love tonight. No hearts tonight. It's okay. Pump those hearts. Amen. <laughs> Stay with me. Look what it says. Wrath is cruel and anger a torrent. But who is able to stand before jealousy? Y'all see this? Who is able to stand before jealousy? Wrath is cruel and anger is, anger is torrent. All of them are bad. But it says, who is able to stand against jealousy? And many of you, you're being celebrated, but they are cursing you inwardly in their hearts. Amen? I know, I won't get no amens tonight. Remember, jealousy is a rivalry spirit, emulation, coveting, and suspicion. Them are just a few that is connected with it. Amen? Genesis chapter 4 and 4 and 5, just look at it in your quiet time. But listen to me closely. The Bible says that, that an Abel on his part also brought of the first line of his flock and their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his, for his offering. But for Cain and his offerings, he had no regard. So Cain became very angry and his countenance fell. So spirits of jealousy uh, is connected also with anger, with, with wrath, with malice. And listen, when you look at the text, you can see that Cain. And so listen, the spirit of Cain is connected with jealousy and also murder. They murder you in their hearts, but even physical murder manifested in the text. And listen, jealousy spirits will kill you at the time of the harvest because they were in the field and it was right. Go and read the text. The, the enemy will always send jealousy spirits to kill you at your time of harvest, your season or breakthrough. Are y'all listening to me? Oh, I know. Just go look at the text. But he was jealous over him because of the offering that he gave. Our offering is connected to sacrifice. Many are jealous of you because of the sacrifices that you have made with God. Are y'all listening to me? The suffering, the sacrifices that you have made. And because of his offering, he was killed for it. At the time, it, it, and again, it was harvest time. So jealousy spirits always try to kill at the harvest time. And they covet. What you want. And listen, this was about a heart. This was a heart issue. Cain thought he could just bring God anything. Like even some of us. But he received Abel's offering. Amen. There's also cruelty, maliciousness. Yeah. The Bible says that it's, I told you it's like a flame. It's a flame. It's a vehement flame out of control. It's like a firefighter. He's fighting, a, uh, he's fighting a, a fire, but they can't seem to get control of it. It just keeps blazing. 
keeps blazing. That's how jealousy is. You can't get control of that, that spirit. You know, it just keeps, it, it's just becomes out of control. It just keeps on manifesting. Amen. As I said too, competition, but this is connected with the heart. Jealousy is a heart issue. Amen. Many a times jealousy has split churches, split ministries, brought competition, warring spirits, and also the spirit of Abaddon. Abaddon means destroyer or destruction. Some of us are out of control with jealousy. Also, it brings temper tantrums. Are y'all listening to me? When as believers, we need to be walking in the spirit and in the fruit of the spirit. The spirit of jealousy also is a dividing spirit. But love will overcome it. And don't replace evil with evil. And listen, pray for those who despitefully use you and then persecute you. Listen, it's because they're jealous of you. So they always persecute you. Y'all come on. The Bible tells us to pray for them. You pray for them. Amen. Pray for them. God will deal with them. Pray for them. Listen, hate is also connected with jealousy. But secretly, as I told you, they admire you. Joseph in Genesis chapter 37. Go look at it. Genesis chapter 37, verses 5, 7 through 8. Uh, let, let me go over there. I, I got a little bit of time. Let me go to Genesis real quick. Genesis chapter 37 and verse five. Joseph tells them his dream and that, and that he's going to be ruling over them. And boy, the devil didn't like that because it was a position of promises, not just because he even got uh, the coat. Because he was his, the favorite son of his father. Look what it says. Now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even more. Y'all see this? They hated him. The Bible says they hated him even more. And he said, no, no, no. Please hear this dream which I have dreamed. And it says that they were binding there we were binding sheaves in the field. Then behold, my sheep arose and also stood upright. And indeed, your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to the sheep. And Joseph was telling me, look, I'm going to be in a prominent position at some point. They said, oh, no, devil, you are lying. We're going to, they took him, his own brothers. And some of us are dealing with sibling rivalry, a jealousy from our brothers, our sisters, because you had a dream. You, you begin business. You've done many of things, uh, got education at a, at an extensive level, a higher level degree and, and done business and married and successful in life to some capacity. And they're jealous of you. I know I'm not going to get no hearts for that on tonight. And because you have told your family your dream, they wanted to kill you for it. They buried Joseph in a pit and stoned him and left him for dead. Let me read verse 20. Verse 20 says this. It says, come therefore, let us know. Let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. And we shall say some wild beast has defied him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. Yeah, these are dream killers. The jealousy spirit wants to kill the dream. He wants to kill the anointing. He wants to kill your purpose, your destiny, he or she. Y'all see that? Let me give you another example. Genesis 29. Genesis, yes. And in, in Genesis 50 and 20, the Bible says that what the devil meant for bad, God meant it for good. In Genesis 50 and 20, go read it. Amen. Let me go to Genesis 29. Rachel was jealous. Uh, Rachel was jealous of Leah and many a time jealousy for those who are married. You know, it moves a person into sin or adultery. You with your wife or your husband, you married it, but you're jealous of them. Uh oh, you believe she's been defiled. Just look at numbers five and 14. Look at that later. Okay. All right. But some of you are, are mad or jealous of your husband's or wife. And you know when you married him, they was called to ministry. They was called to do great things. Genesis chapter 29, 31 and 32. All right? Genesis 29, 31 and 32. All right? You knew that 
So why would you marry them? How do you be with somebody or be around somebody that you that you hate or that you have an underlying envy for? Oh, I know. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hearts, and I'm, I know I'm talking good tonight. I know I'm gonna be told I'm, I'm 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 talking good tonight. I'm gonna teach it. Verse thirty-one, Genesis twenty-nine and thirty-one said, "When the Lord saw that Leah was in love, He opened her womb, but Rachel was barren." So Leah conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Reuben, for she said, The Lord has surely looked upon my affliction. Now, Rachel was very beautiful in form and in appearance, but her womb was closed. And because of her being jealous of Leah, it pushed her in, pushed Jacob into adultery with Leah and to have children by other women. Oh, uh, I know. Yeah. Uh, Y'all don't want to hear that tonight. Y'all stay with me. Let's look at verse 34. 34 says, she conceived again and bore a son and said, now this time my husband will become attached to me because I have bore him three sons. Therefore, his name called Levi. And she conceived again. So Leah could continue to conceive. But the Bible says in even Leah's name, let me share this. It means tired, worn down. So Leah didn't look that great, but she was able to bear children. Rachel, listen, when they left from Laban, y'all might not remember the story. Remember, they had, Rachel had took some uh, witchcraft amulets from Laban that he worshipped other gods with. And Jacob pronounces the curse on her, and she dies. Are y'all listening to me? It says that anybody that, whoever took these things from you, he tells Laban this. Whoever took these things from you, this these witchcraft amulets, that's what they was, they shall die. Rachel has a baby and then dies. Her name means favor and blessing. But she has a baby and then dies. So word curses and jealousy could cause your vision to die. Are y'all listening to me? The ministry to die, purpose to die. Are y'all with me? Oh, I know. I'm just going to give you some example. 1 Samuel 18, 6 and 7. 1 Samuel 18. Uh, Saul is there with David. 1 Samuel 18 and verse 6. 1 Samuel 18 and verse 6. Watch this. Saul is jealous of David. He is jealous of him. Amen. And some of you need deliverance from that spirit of Saul. He hangs around you or she does. They are, they are spirit. Uh, they, you know, uh, they hang around you. They, they profess to love the anointing, love your ministry. But the reality is they jealous of you. They don't want more souls to get saved, more deliverance, more healing. First Samuel 18, uh, Sister Valida, 18 in verse 6. Look what it says. It says, now it had happened as they were coming home when David was returning from the slaughter of the Philistines that the women had come out of all the cities of Israel singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tambourines with joy and the musical instruments. So the women sang as they danced and said, Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. So David slayed more enemies. And the Bible says in verse eight, then Saul was very, what? Angry and saying displeased him. And he said, they have ascribed to David 10 thousands. And to me, they have ascribed only thousands. Now, what more can he have, but the kingdom? So Saul eyed David from that day forward. See, he despised David. The Bible says he eyed him. He despised him from that day forward. Let's look at verse 28 and 29. It says this, thus Saul, Saul saw and knew that the Lord was with David and that Micah, Saul's daughters, loved him. And Saul was still more afraid of David. So Saul became David's enemy continually. So the spirit of jealousy, it becomes your enemy continually. Are y'all listening to me? They know people love you. They know people love the ministry. They tell others not to support your ministry. Your ministry is fake. Don't, you know, although you out there doing more work than most. And they say, hey, no. And the people have made mention of you and talk about the breakthroughs, the testimonies, the deliverance they have from your ministry. And Saul comes on the scene and eyes you and despises you or is angry at you for no reason. Competition. 
within ministry. Enough's enough. We've got to stop it. Jealous of people, jealousy in the family. God breaks that yoke from you. But the spirit of jealousy is an enemy continues unless the person gets delivered. Are y'all with me? Unless they get delivered. Jealousy is an enemy continually. With jealousy comes hatred, rage, anger, revenge, spite, cruelty, war. Are y'all listening to me? Selfishness. Covetousness, envy, strife, contention. That is right, woman of God. I hear you. I see you. Yes. So, look, you, Saul's hate favor. She just quoted here that Saul's hate when you're favored. They do because they're jealous of you. So I'm going to pray to break you free. And for those that don't know Jesus in the part of the sin, I want you to call us. All right. Call us at 463-224-5754. And we will take you through the process and we'll get you some materials. Or if you would like personal deliverance, email us at touchofthemaster888 at yahoo.com. And we'll set an appointment for you. You're being despised. You don't know why they're jealous of you. Some of you have a wound from them being jealous of you and it hurts you. God wants you delivered from it on tonight. If it is you, you need to renounce the spirit of jealousy and everything that comes along with it. Amen. Let me pray. Father God, no, let me have you to do this. Let's renounce. Repeat this. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I renounce the spirits of jealousy in their altars and that have been set against me. I fall out of agreement with hurt, with pain, with disappointment. And I forgive all those who have hurt me and that are jealous of me. From this point on, they will not be my enemies continually in Jesus' name. Because I destroyed that altar of jealousy on tonight in Jesus' name. Say, I renounce jealousy, hatred, rage, anger, and revenge. Say, I fall out of agreement with them by the authority of Jesus' name. Say, I renounce cruelty, spirits of murder, competition, temper, in Jesus' name, war, selfishness, envy, covetousness, suspicion. Say, I renounce it in the name of Jesus. And even the persecution and distrust. Say, I renounce it. In Jesus say, say, I renounce criticism and even their criticism towards me and even the flattery and how they have cursed me inwardly in my, in their hearts. Say, I renounce it. I break that demonic power in Jesus say, and I renounce mockery, violence, contention, and strife in Jesus name. Say, I decree that and I release it and I renounce the critical spirits and spirits of murder in Jesus name. And I'm broke free tonight. Say I'm broke free tonight from contention, strife and jealousy and rage and anger in Jesus name. Say I renounce it. And all those who have hurt me or wounded me, I forgive them and I release them and say, I renounce the rot that's even in my bones. Some of you have pain in your body and in your bones from hidden bitterness or jealousy. Say, I renounce the bitterness and the jealousy. And I release all those who I am jealous of or that are jealous of me. I release them and say, I will not replace evil with evil, but I will pray for those who despitefully use me and persecute me. In Jesus' name, I forgive all those who have drained me, who have attacked me, who have come against me because of jealousy. Say, I forgive them. I release them. Say, Lord, heal my heart on tonight. Heal me from this brokenness. Heal me from this pain. Say, I command the sword of the spirit and the word of God to break me free from every altar of jealousy. My name is erased from their mouth and from their altars of jealousy that have been set against me 
in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Now let me pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirits of jealousy and even spirits of Abaddon, the strong man in Jesus name, the destroyer. I command it now to come out of them in Jesus name. Go by the authority of Jesus name. All spirits of hatred, rage, anger, revenge, and spirits of murder, and even Cain spirits. I command it now to come out by the authority of Jesus' name. Link yourselves together and come out. I bind the attacks and the hidden assignments even on your mind as I release the anointing. I release the anointing and I send the word unto you that shall heal and deliver you from all destruction of jealousy. And I command rottenness of the bones to come out. In Jesus' name, and all spirits of war, all spirits of selfishness, all spirits of envy and covetedness, paranoia, suspicion, distrust, and skepticism, I command it now to come out, and I break you free from sibling rivalry and favoritism among your family, and even the dream killers, I command them to loose you now. By the authority of Jesus' name, your ministry will not die. Your purpose will not die in the name of Jesus. And I command all spirits of persecution in Jesus' name, all spirits of death, all spirits of criticism in Jesus' name, violence, contention, and strife, come out of them in Jesus' name. And I decree that all the tongues that have licked you in Jesus' name with slander and accusation, let it cleave to the mouths of your enemies in Jesus' name. I decree you are loosed and that the blood soaks you. It soaks your mind. It soaks your body. It soaks your will, intellect, and emotions in Jesus' name. And I decree that every demonic spirit of jealousy and critical spirits, strife, contention, come out. In Jesus' name. And I come against the spirits of Saul that are chasing you, that is even beside you in the fear of Saul, the fear even of Jezebel. Let me tell that devil to come out, because Jezebel is jealousy and jealous and seductive. Come out, and I break you from the grips of Jezebel. I break you from the grips of Saul in the name of Jesus. And I decree that the blood shall cover you and shall make you whole in Jesus' name. And I decree. That every spirit of fear, every spirit of contention come out by the authority of Jesus' name. And I bind and cast out the spirits of Abaddon and the strong man connected with jealousy and rage in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We love you and praise you for it now. And Lord, I decree that your blood covers your people from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. And I bind backlash, hit the tax to retaliation in Jesus name. And I decree that when the enemy tries to come in like a flood, the spirit of the living God shall raise a standard against him in Jesus name. And I decree broken spirits, broken heart, come on, wounded memories come out from spirits of jealousy, even sibling rivalry in the family come out. By the authority of Jesus' name, go in Jesus' name. And I decree you be healed in your mind, body, and spirit. And that you shall release them on tonight. Release them on tonight. Come on, unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment. Come on, go by the authority of Jesus' name. And I decree peace unto you. Peace, shalom, blessing, and favor. In Jesus' name. And I come against the spirit of jealousy that is withhold finances from you. And when, when God has told them to sow, I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. And I command the draining spirits to come out of you. Waster spirits, spoiler spirits, come out in Jesus' name. Go. No longer will you hinder them in Jesus' name. And I decree, be healed in body, mind, and spirit. Because the word of God declares in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23 that you should be whole in mind, body, and spirit. Lord, I give you praise for it on tonight. And I, and I honor and bless your name. It's in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. So God bless all of you. Thank you for joining me on tonight. Uh, please 
uh, share this. Uh, if you would like to sow, uh, we appreciate that. Go to AP Kevin B Cash App, AP Kevin B or PayPal. It's the same. If you would like to sow and you have benefited from this ministry, this is a blessing to you. If anybody is having any pain anywhere in their body, please type it in. Amen. And I will pray for you quickly. I will type it in and I will pray for you. Okay. All right, if you're having any pain or felt like any resistance or tightness in the head or anything like that, I will pray for you, okay? Amen. Okay, no concerns. Okay, I've scrolled to the bottom. Amen. All right. Okay. Be whole. Be healed. You've released them on tonight. Don't pick it back up. Amen. Don't grab a hold of that jealousy. Release it. And release those that are jealous of you. Amen. Walk in your freedom. Stay free. Remember, if you would like deliverance or you need to receive Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins. Amen. Call us. 463-224-5744 between the hours of 930 and 3. Call us. We'll take you through that process, get you some information, direct you to a church in your area, a Bible teaching church, and we'll take care of that with you. And even if you need personal deliverance at that time, we will address it. We will pray for you and take you through deliverance. Amen. If you would like a personal appointment, email us at touchofthemaster888 at yahoo.com or call us. All right. God bless all of you. And thank you again for tuning in.